from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A study has found that the fat in food doesn't have to be swallowed to have a negative effect on the body. So if you hear a woman say, if I just look at that piece of cheesecake, it goes right to my hips, uh, she ain't lying. Nine out of ten people who apply to be contestants on game shows are rejected. Man, <laughs> that is a frightening thought. We're seeing the cream of the crop. <laughs> When a Texas couple got engaged at a Garth Brooks concert in Oklahoma City recently, Garth gave them a wedding present. He's going to pay for their honeymoon. You know, Although I would be wary of taking this gift. I mean, what kind of honeymoon are you going to get when the guy has friends in low places? NBC's long-running reality show The Biggest Loser has been canceled. The news comes as a shock to most of America who thought the show went away years ago. Disney's new Star Wars-themed land will be called Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and will open in Disneyland and Disney World in two years. It'll be tough to get reservations, though, as you'll need to make them a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Amazon is said to be close to rolling out its own messaging app. Because of course they are. They're Amazon. Next, it'll be uh, an Amazon pacemaker, uh, followed by Amazon tongue studs. The world's largest Ferris wheel is being built in Dubai at more than 600 feet tall. Look, Mom! I can see the sewage treatment plant from here! A woman taking a selfie at an L.A. art gallery fell and knocked over some exhibits, causing $200,000 in damage. But she did look fabulous on Facebook, so you know it all evens out. National bridal dress chain Andre Angelo has suddenly closed after 80 years leaving some brides without dresses that they'd already paid for. Have these people never heard about a woman scorned? Caitlyn Jenner is said to be weighing a run for the U.S. Senate. Okay, I I'm confused here. I mean, Caitlyn Jenner might run for Senate. Uh, Kid Rock, he's debating doing the same thing. There's talk of Dwayne The Rock Johnson running for president. We got a game show host that is the president. Did I somehow slip into an alternate dimension a few months ago? Samsung has unveiled a 34-foot LED TV screen because apparently you needed one. Six cars were stolen from people's driveways on the same night in the Connecticut town of Greenwich. All six cars were unlocked with the keys inside where they were taken from home Saturday night. Left unlocked with the keys inside. Okay, I'm not going to say that you were asking for it, but you were asking for it. It sucks when the internet goes down. It can be life-altering when it goes down for three weeks. After more than three weeks, Somalia's internet has finally returned. It's estimated it costs the country about $10 million per day. Officials and internet providers attributed this problem to a commercial ship that they said cut an undersea cable. Man, three weeks without the internet, I would be rolled up in a ball in a dark corner of the basement drooling over myself, repeatedly mumbling, the world is gone, the world is gone, the world is gone. Beloved children's character Winnie the Pooh has reportedly been blacklisted in China following comparisons between the pot-bellied bear and China's president. Yep, these are the totally rational folks we want brokering a deal between us and the North Koreans. Pocket-sized flamethrowers are being marketed to women in China as an anti-pervert weapon. The handheld devices, which are capable of hurling a stream of fire about two feet long, sell for up to $40. The mini flamethrowers have sparked controversy in China. One newspaper wrote, of course perverts are scary, but what's even more scary are these anti-pervert devices. Man, you know, even if you know the woman, I would not want to sneak up on her and startle her. In fact, I would rule out surprise parties, too. Scientists say that 70 years after the U.S. tested nuclear bomb after nuclear bomb on land in the Pacific known as Bikini Atoll, the wildlife there is actually remarkably well. It's doing well. It's flourishing. The only difference they have noticed, though, is that the animals are a bit larger and often desire to attack Tokyo. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. 
Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.